Good evening. Edwin S. Simon reporting. NBS News has obtained Pentagon documents that show our neighbor to the north, the sovereign nation of Canada, has embarked on a military program aimed at the United States. Based on a national security reason, that we would be uh, moving forward with retaliatory war. We want to harm the Americans, but it is something we relish doing. Shit. Rise and shine, motherfuckers. I'm your host, The Stimulator, and this is The Fucking News. I've heard that Muslims believe that they can have sex with children. And do you believe that? I do believe that. You've got, you've got the Iraqi law that they put, they put down in, in London. I believe what I read, unless it's proven to be not true. Which Iraqi law is this? It's the Muslim. Muslimic law. I'm just wondering where you get this idea from. You've got Muslimic rate guns nowadays. As viewers of my fucking show will know, last month, Canada's honky, <laughs> hot. Where are you going, little cutie? Seductive. He looks like a Calvin Klein model. Saucy. He's the king of the jungle. Bossy boss, Justin Trudeau. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck wrote this shit? He bought my shirt. Anyway, as I was saying, JT announced that the government of Planada was now in the oil biz and snagged Kinder Morgan's Trans Mountain Pipeline for a cool 4.5 billion ducats, declaring this oversized oil straw to be vital to the national interest. I am approving these pipelines because it matters, and I'm making a case for the oil sands. Where there's pipelines, there's spills. <coughs> in our Sokwapok territory, it's the biggest territory that the Kinder Morgan Pipeline will be crossing through. And we say, no, that's our message here to everybody. This dipshit move set JT up on a politically suicidal collision course with a massive posse of hard-ass native land defenders and their peeps, thousands of whom are dead set on shutting down any expansion to the motherfucking tar sands. And looks like shit's starting to heat up. On Saturday, July 14th, badass indigenous warrior Kana Husmanuel was arrested by the motherfucking RCM pigs in the unceded Sequetmec territories near the town of Clearwater in so-called BC. Kanahus and her tiny house warrior crew had set up on the spot of one of her peace villages in order to block the construction of the tar sand shit tube through her ancestral lands. Kanahus has since been released, but this ill-conceived action could have dire motherfucking consequences for the pipe pushers in Ottawa. Already, this equipment women's warrior society has described her arrest as, quote, a declaration of war. And they put out a motherfucking call for warriors across Turtle Island to start making their way to so-called BC to shut shit the fuck down. They'll have plenty of motherfucking chances to do so since the pipeline's proposed route crosses through numerous indigenous territories with planned construction stretched out over 980 kilometers. That's over 600 fucking miles. Canadians are always dreaming up a lot of ways to ruin our lives. The metric system for the love of God. And with Trudeau's Minister of Ecocide Jim Carr refusing to rule out deploying the army to force the project through, there's a good chance this throwdown could make the 1990 Oka standoff look like a minor fucking dust-off. Fuck my life. Meanwhile, in the United Snakes on Wednesday, July 11th, Standing Rock water protector Red von Fales was sentenced to nearly five years in the clink after taking a non-cooperating plea deal to avoid trumped up charges that could have seen her locked away from life. Of all the water defenders at Standing Rock, Red Fawn's charges were the most serious and she has already spent nearly two years in the state's custody. Accused of shooting a gun in the direction of two pigs while being violently arrested, it was later revealed that the catch she was accused of firing was owned and given to her by an FBI snitch who had been sent to infiltrate the camp and initiate a relationship with her. As comrades across Turtle Island rightly celebrate the recent J-20 legal victory, Alright, alright, settle down, motherfuckers. It's important not to lose sight of other comrades, particularly native land defenders and black and brown peeps who have put shit on the line and are facing the full racist weight of a white supremacist and colonial fucking justice system. We actually don't believe in the word Native American because Native American it also has the word American in it. To keep up to date on Red Fawn's case and to see how you can support her as she does her time, check out standwithredfawn.org. Every time somebody sends up smoke, I feel it. 
and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and that's I'm our life that's how I was raised that's who we are and that's how we get through the hardest times in our life so I stand strong and I stand in gratitude and in more bad motherfucking news on Thursday July 12th revolutionary struggle member and real-life anarchist action hero Paula Rupa was sentenced to life plus 25 fucking years for her alleged involvement in a 2014 car bomb attack targeting the Bank of Greece and the IMF's Athens headquarters Damn! on the eve of a state visit by top German pimp Angela Merkel, an attack which, while it injured no one, came very close to precipitating the total fucking collapse of the Greek financial system. After her partner and comrade Nikos Maciotis was captured in a shootout with police in 2016, Rupa attempted to hijack a motherfucking chopper to break him out of his cage, but failed after a mid-air struggle with the pilot forced an emergency landing into a bunch of fucking mountains. She was finally captured by Greek police in a raid last year after five years of punking the pigs. That's pretty goddamn impressive. Rupa's harsh fucking sentence, identical to the one handed out to Maciotis in 2016, is aimed at making sure they never see the light of day again. Here's hoping the motherfucking Greek state is wrong about that. Solidarity with Rupa, Maciotis, and their revolutionary struggle co-accused Costas Gurnas, motherfucking gangsters. We're not worthy! We're not And that's all the fucking news for today. I want to let y'all motherfuckers know that Submedia is closing shop for the month of August. But no worries, I'll be back in the fall to bring you more news from the motherfucking resistance. That said, if you want some Submedia t-shirts before the summer's over, we'll do our last shipment on July 30th. So head on over to sub.media slash gear to get some dope duds. And don't forget to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.